Let's start by Googling Tigray. T I G R A Y. Yes. Um, maybe just kind of looking up some organizations that are helping. I mean, you guys, there's so much going on in the world. Yeah. And any little thing you can do to just contribute to any little thing, that's what service is about. And um, I'm happy to uh, use my platform for this. I appreciate um, it. Anytime. Yeah, we, we, we should do it do at least once a week. Okay. Just to remind people of what's happening. I would love that. One more time, just so everybody understands and knows why this is important. My bell, just give them a, a brief rundown real quick. You did really well. <laughs> you did really well. Yeah. I was, I was nervous. Trying to, like, what we going to say? You know, but we did really, really well. You know, thank you. You touched touched many people. Please just uh, do a recap for us. Sure. So the reason we're having this is to let everybody know what's happening in Tigray. Um, Tigray, Ethiopia is the most northern point of Ethiopia. It is becoming a forgotten area, um, and it's really important that we don't forget it. People are dying. People are being raped. Women are being raped. The smallest amount that we have now, the smallest number, is 10,000 women have been mass raped, gang raped multiple times, held hostage, become sex slaves. And that's 10,000 women, mothers, aunts, sisters, you know, um, boys are being killed as young as seven because they don't want them to have the memory of this. They don't want them to later on. They're being thrown off of cliffs. They are being tortured. Um, children are losing their limbs. They're losing their parents. They're losing their lives. There are over 63,000 refugees in Sudan from Tigray, and there would be more, but the Ethiopian government is not allowing anybody across the border. There are children who are dying. 2.3 million people are facing starvation right now, are starving literally, and 4.5 million are facing starvation. The numbers are horrible, but those numbers are people. Those are human beings. Those are stories. Those are parents and cousins and loved ones. They're my family. I don't know if my grandmothers are eating. I don't know if my dad is okay. I don't know if my aunts have lost their children. I don't know if my female cousins have been raped. I don't know what trauma my family is going through right now because the Ethiopian government won't allow me to talk to them. The Ethiopian government will not allow us to have internet. The Ethiopian government will not allow anybody in the Tigray to see what's actually happening. To get in, you have to be a journalist with crazy credentials like CNN, and then you have to wait five days to get through. So. It is, it's imperative, it's important, it's urgent that everybody continue to talk about what's happening in Tigray and everybody give a fuck because our people are dying, our families are dying, and we need your help. Tigray, there's a genocide going on. Ma Bell um, took some time out of her day to inform us of, of what was happening, and um, now she's going to tell us about how we can help and what she and her sister has put together. Yes, so my sisters and I have started an organization. It's called the Tigray Action Committee. We feel that action is needed immediately, and we are doing our best to take that action. We are raising donations to give to the women on the ground right now. These women, again, have nothing. They don't have clothes. They don't have, they're living in caves. Nico. Nico, come say hi. They're living in caves. Hi, sir. <laughs> These women are living in the they're living in the wilderness, they're losing their children, they're losing their sanity, they've lost everything. And so we at Tigray Action Committee are raising funds to provide them just uh, something to survive the next day. Okay. We have a 5K, we have a petition, we have a bunch of things on our website, including a fact sheet and updated articles. Please come and support our efforts. Yeah. Basically, T. Gray's being starved. Um, the people who are really, really um, involved in, in these action committees are here on on the post now. Some of them, you can look at some of those. Um, please support my bell and her sisters from 
from this page where she is right now. What's this page? It's the Tigray it's app. So T I G R A Y A P T. Okay. I'm gonna try to T A G E I G. Uh huh. E I G R A Y. Act. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Eve. I love you so much. <laughs> Say it again. T I G R A Y. Right. A C T. Okay. Act. Gotcha. Hi, Bert. You see Bert in the comments? Hey, Bert. <laughs> I pinned it. I'm so smart. Yes, bitch. You've been brave. So, so you guys are accepting donations? Mm hmm We're accepting donations. We'd like more signatures on our petition. Um, more just general support come and find out what's happening we need people to talk about what's happening in Tigray exactly the same way they're talking about Palestine Palestine deserves the attention as well absolutely, absolutely. we both deserve it so. yeah just a, the, the world at large and for those of you who are here today I know a lot of um, people who are in tune are, are tuned in with us right now right now just taking a moment to uh, breathe in some new thoughts and uh, send positive energy and uh, peace to the people be great and you can support uh, my bill at T Gray Act um I'll be putting up more information um, this weekend. Um, yeah, thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, it was my pleasure. <laughs>